Local and international journalists were pushed out of the way by Jack Warner's bodyguard as they sought answers to the alleged $10 million bribe after today's parliament session broke for lunch. The undeterred journalists did not give up even after being shouted at by the bodyguard. Ever since news broke that Jack Warner was indicted, international media have set up a temporary home in Trinidad and Tobago, covering every event possible that he attends, as they still have an answered question surrounding his involvement in the FIFA scandal. Mahalia Joseph has more in this report. A contingent of foreign journalists from the BBC, Sky News, Associated Press and Al Jazeera, along with several local media personnel, waited patiently in the parliamentary chamber on Friday for former FIFA Vice President Jack Warner to leave at the lunch break. But to their surprise, he wasn't too keen on responding to the questions being posed by members of the media. As they proceeded to follow Mr. Warner out of the parliament, a man believed to be his bodyguard shouted at reporters as they kept pressing the ex-FIFA vice president. One journalist in particular, London's Sky News' David Bowden, was manhandled. But even that wasn't enough to stop an Associated Press cameraman from asking Mr. Warner about Seb Blatter's role in the FIFA scandal. What do you know against what do you know against Mr. Blatter? Mr. Warner, is a parliamentarian? Do you think it's right for your associates? He eventually left the scene without uttering a word about the matter to the media, leaving them with unanswered questions and an added drive to find out the truth. Today they weren't so lucky, but from the looks of it, it seems as though they don't intend to give up. Good evening, Mr. Warner, Andrew Jennings, BBC Panorama Programme. Would you give me an interview? Thank you, excuse. Would you, would you, would you well, look, I, we're on the, we're on the public highway, please, don't interrupt. I would like to ask you, how much profit do you expect to make from the trading you will... This isn't the first time that international media have been turned down by Mr. Warner. Almost six years ago, investigative reporter Andrew Jennings of the BBC came to Trinidad to question him about how much profit he expected to make from trading in World Cup tickets in 2006. It is alleged that Jack Warner received a $10 million sweetener to vote for South Africa to host the 2010 World Cup. He is yet to respond on the issue. Mahalia Joseph, C News.